Standing room only crowd tonight here at Lindsey Nelson Stadium, and the first pitch is outside. Hits and four runs just kept him in the game until Tennessee figured out a way to win it late. And Goodhart draws a walk. Do your job, and that's, you know, Tony had done everything that Van Horn has done, but he's done some. Russell on the warning track makes the catch. Slavens gave it a ride. And the streak continues as Spence goes with the pitch, and he has a leadoff single. Guys, he's a machine. He's in the second baseman. Great bunter, lays one down. Wicklander's going to have to hurry, and doesn't get him. That's it down the right field line. That's it for a double at least. Rucker makes the turn. Two runs are going to score as Ferguson's coming to the plate, and Tennessee leads it 2 nothing. What a start by Tennessee. That's big because not only does Tennessee grab the lead here in the bottom of the first, but it gets this sold out crowd even more jacked up. Just great, absolutely fantastic approaches by all three Tennessee hitters so far. See that ball was in on Rucker's hands a little bit, just inside outs it and muscles it right down the right field line. That's spin scoring easily. And then Ferguson all the way from have been more important as the season goes on. Hot shot to the third baseman. Cullen Smith just knocked that one down. It saved a run. That was a bullet by Evan Russell, and that'll be a base hit because it would have been another run. Fly ball, well hit right field down the line. That ball is going to sail into the bullpen. Jordan Beck, a three-run homer, and Tennessee jumps in front five to nothing. What did I just say, Bob? The key to this series will probably be two out hitting. That's pretty key right there. A three-run home run by Jordan Beck. Opposite field, too. There's no win tonight here at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. And the ball carries to all fields, but watch where this location is. It's outside, but Beck doesn't try to pull it. He goes with the pitch. He's got enough muscle to take it out opposite way. Cape Wallace made a valiant effort, runs out of room, and Jordan Beck looking at it. I mean, that's that's what you want. You want to hit a mistake. But. And Greer swings through it. But Tennessee explodes. It's Peyton Manning came in for the weekend and got a chance to throw out the first pitch. Good to have Peyton, and then he launched one. There's a base hit to right field by Christian Franklin on the first pitch of the second inning. Three and one. That's ripped down the right field line, and the Razorbacks are on the board. A two-run homer by Robert Moore as both teams have taken advantage of that short right field porch and the Tennessee bullpen, and the Razorbacks have cut into the Tennessee lead. It's now 5-2. That is excellent, excellent offensive work by the number one team in the country. You give up a five spot at the bottom of the first. How do you answer? A leadoff single to start the second, and then a line drive home run into the bullpen in right field by Robert Moore, and just like that. There's a base at the left. Good bit of hitting by Cullen Smith, and that's three straight hits. Bouncing ball to third. And Tennessee turns it. Around the horn they go. 5-4-3, and the Razorbacks are out in the second, but not before Arkansas gets on the board. And there's a double, at least. Right down the line. Spence will cruise into second base, and Tennessee off to a good start in the top of the second. Spence gets on base. He's probably going to see a lot more fastballs like that one right there than he will breaking balls here the, or the look. and You can't measure the heart. That's well hit to left center field, and it's a great catch by Franklin. Wow. Christian Franklin 
He just outran that ball. Dave Van Horn talks about his speed. And it was on display right there. That ball was ticketed for a double or maybe a triple in left center field. And Christian Franklin, you won't see a better catch than that. No. Fly ball to center. That'll be an easier play for Franklin. And makes the catch on a routine fly ball to center. Overall, check swing. He went. Good pitch by Dallas. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Strike out the side. Bouncing ball. Spence can't get it. That's a base hit. That's a great piece of hit by Kate Walt. Fly ball, left field. Russell measures it back to the wall. Looks up. That ball sails out of here. Now how big is that call? Brady Slavin's a two-run homer, and the Razorbacks have scored four straight. It's 5-4 now, Tennessee. Well, when you give guys extra swings against the number one team in the country, they're going to make you pay, and that's a great job of hitting by Slavin's. Because I can tell you, as a left-handed hitter, you want to try to play pepper with that scoreboard and right because it's a short porch and right. Huh? Strike three. Chad Davis strikes out the side. And you can see the SEC projected postseason. There's a base at the left. First pitch. In the third inning, Evan Russell gets a base knock to left. That's the base on balls. As Durkane walks for the second time tonight. Second. And the bases are loaded. Back to the pitcher. Big out by Monk. Gets out of a bases loaded jam. Out there. Off speed struck him out. Reich in the bottom of the ninth. And Gilbert connected with a, a base hit, and then he won it with a walk-off home run in the 11th. Good inning for Monk as Tennessee goes down 1-2-3. And that's a leadoff walk to Jalen Battles. Back-to-back -back walks to start the fifth. To get one here. And that's rip past Spence, and that'll tie the game. Caden Wallace, his second hit of the night, drives in the Razorbacks' fifth run, and we're tied at five. Great piece of hitting by the Razorback right fielder. Ball was hit right on the line, just out of the reach of Spence right there. A game of inches. And Ark. That's ripped to right. That's a base hit. Gregory will stop at third base, and the bases are going to be loaded for Christian Franklin. Slid a little bit over. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout for Hundley. Strike three. Hundley comes in. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the threat. The Razorbacks lead the bases loaded, but they got to run to tie it up. What a job by Sean Hundley. Swing and a miss. Five straight set down by Monk. Bases on balls. Lipsius deep to right field. If it stays fair, it is going to be caught on a diving catch by Wallace in right field. Down the right field line, Wallace came over and made that catch. And Lipsius is the second out of the inning. We saw Christian Franklin, the center fielder for Arkansas, with that diving catch earlier in the game. But Kate Wallace, as he approaches the line, a little slide action right there. Back to Hunter. He's come in and retired five in a row. And the Razorbacks go down one, two, three in the sixth. The college, too. <laughs> <laughs> Durke is hit by a pitch. 
Strike three called. Run on the inside edge. Another good job by Monk. Swing and a miss. Hundley's been sensational. Second straight one, two, three inning for Hundley. And that's a walk. And Lipsius, and we'll do it again. And Cops wins the battle. Strikes him out on a 3-2 pitch. That's ripped down the right field line and fair into the corner. Slavin's going to make the turn, and he will have a leadoff double. His third hit of the night. Problem here in the eighth. And that pitch goes to the backstop. Now it gets worse. I think Greer was crossed up. I was about to, ready to say Franklin's got to get that ball to the ground to the right side. The infield is in, and that ball's ripped right to the third baseman. Rucker makes the catch, and Slavens dances back to third. Field, and he does. Fly ball, deep center field. Gilbert going back. He'll make the catch up against the wall, but tagging at third base. And scoring is Slavens, and the Razorbacks have come from down five to lead 6-5. Played in. And he lines it down the left field line. That's a base hit. Booker will make the turn. Lots of speed. He'll go into second base. And that's the tying run out there with two outs. 3 2 pitch. Struck him out. What a big pitch by Cops. It was a miscommunication on a pitch count. Ball got by Jackson Greer. Slavens was able to sit in an SEC series. Got a win and a save against LSU. Runner goes. It goes to the backstop. A stolen base for Webb. Popped him up. Left field. Russell. A trot in. And Arkansas is turned away by Hundley in the ninth inning. Fly ball right. Wallace. One down. 3-2. Fly ball, left field, and that ball is going to be caught up against the wall by Webb. He caught it. Webb came in for defense, and what another spectacular play by the Arkansas defense. Well, each outfielder for Arkansas has made a terrific defensive play. This time, it's left fielder Brayton Webb. That ball is a line drive. Looks like a double going to be off the wall. And look at Webb sacrificing his body. Popped it up. That'll stay in play. And the Razorbacks take game number one. They do it in comeback fashion. Tennessee scored five runs in the first, and the Razorbacks come back to score six unanswered, and they win this game one, six to five.